After the phone is powered down, the battery door can be removed to reveal the battery and SIM or SD cards, which will need to be removed as well. Next, the 10 total Phillips screws in the back housing will need to be removed. The S3 has various models, so your repair may differ slightly from mine. Because of this, you'll also want to make sure you have the correct part, as they will differ between cellular carriers. Once all of the screws are out, a thin opening tool can be slid in between the back housing and the mid-frame of the phone from the battery bay. Twisting the tool around slightly should begin to unseat it enough that you should now be able to begin unclipping it from the outside. To replace the SIM and SD reader, you'll first have to unclip it from the board. Once it's unclipped, use a thin tool to carefully pry the edges of the reader away from the device like so. After the reader has been pried up, the new one can be applied by simply laying it back into the same place as the older one and clipping it into the board. The housing can then be applied as well as the 10 screws that we removed earlier. Finally, any SD or SIM cards can be replaced, as well as the battery and the battery door, finishing the repair.